Hello students, this video is about actuarial science. We are Shorosa's classes. In this video, I will tell you about how to crack actuarial science examination, what are the process and how you can proceed in your studies. Let me first uh, tell you what is the actual science is actually stands for is actuarial common entrance test. This is actually taken by Institute of Actuaries India. In general, it is taken twice in a particular year. But this year, they have taken it on April and the next examination is in June in a very short span of time. But in general, they are also planning to extend it to three examinations per year. Okay? And for each examination, you get around three to four months of preparation time. But this is only for the Indian. For UK one, you don't have to give this. I will come back to this in a very short span of time. Now, coming to the eligibility criteria, many of the people have many kind of fascinating thoughts about what is the eligibility criteria, is it 95 percent in maths always you need, is it the best of the students only get into that, nothing like that. Simply the eligibility criteria is you have to have mathematics as a subject and English as a subject in 10 plus 2, that is the basic part. And the examination mode is simply in the format of computerized. In general, let me tell you about the format structures. So, uh, what kind of places you have to give the examination? They in general hire uh, some computer centers or schools and colleges and there you have to go and you have to give the examination. And in general, they are privatized organizations and there will be in general 70 different questions. 70 multiple choice questions will be there and 3 hours will be provided to you. But it is a 100 marks question. In general, there will be 2 marks, 1 mark and 5 marks questions will be given. So, how many 1 mark questions? You can see 45 into 1, then 20 into 2 and 3 questions of 5 marks will be given. Now, uh, you can ask me or many of the time people think that, okay, there is a 5 marks question, so will it be MCQ? Uh, then if it is MCQ, then why the different weightages are given? Simply, in the 45, this, this portion, this 1 mark question, sums will be smaller. Mainly, uh, there are questions which you can do it and in the uh, segments like English, data interpretation, logical reasoning, the easier ones. In general, in the 5 marks one, in the, they you get to solve some of the toughest questions in maths and stat, both longer questions and in, uh, if you took it from uh, logical reasoning, you need to answer bigger questions like sitting arrangement or bigger direction problems. In 20 into 2, mostly maths and stats related questions will be coming. So now, there is a small question is how to become an actuary? How many papers have to clear? Are the 15 papers or uh, 4 or 5? Is it like more papers and less importance or more papers more importance? So let us coming to this part. The minimum requirement when it comes 10 plus 2 is maths or stat you have to have and the examination only is conducted in English format. Now, if you do not want to give it to UK, US, one, Indian one and you want to directly give it the UK one, then you have to have a 85 percent in maths. For example, you do not have 85 percent, remember that it is 85 not 95. So, if you do not have 85 percent in maths, then also it is not a problem, then you have to give CT1 examination in the beginning. That will become your entrance examination to the structure. If you give the CT1 examination, then you can give CT2, CT3 in that pattern. But if you have 85, then you can start with any one of the paper. Remember that there is again an exemption criteria as well. What is an exemption criteria? For example, if you give one from India and uh, then you have, don't have to give the same paper again from UK. But fortunately, UK don't take actuarial science entrance test examination, you don't have to give. But again, if you have to take any exemption from India, first Indian Institute of Actuaries of India will ask you to clear the Indian examination that is called ASET in order to be eligible to get exemption or any other examination for Institute of Actuaries India. And for graduate and postgraduate students, you do not have to think about the 10 plus 2, there is at least 55 percent mass in science fields like maths, physics and statistics. But if you do not have that thing, so you can simply show many of the people do it, they simply show your 11, 12 marks and on the basis of that also you can proceed. Now, aspirants with CS, CS and CW and MBA in finance and PGDBA 
are also eligible and there is a special exemption for the students who have cracked ISI entrance exam they do not have to crack it uh, the ACET examination only and the member of actuarial bodies such as which is related to this institute of actuaries or London faculty of actuaries in Scotland and institute of actuaries in Australia can also give this examination without giving the ACET examination. Students from Society of Actuaries USA and Casualty Actuary Society USA can also give this examination. Now, how many uh, types of certificate granted in actuarial science on passing all the CT papers? The first and foremost part is association ship, associate ship certificate. It is very important. Here, uh, it is given when you clear the ST series and the CT series. Okay, and it is given by it is usable for the AASI. The fellowship certificate you will get this is for the SA series. Now, uh, we will tell you about our class structure. Uh, we are uh, giving not only the classes also the career options and internships as uh, our, we are associated with many of the companies and many of our old students have also been associated with some of the companies. So, with them and with our own structure, we organize many conferences and on the basis of that you will get admission to the best of the organizations all over the India and uh, some of the abroad also. In the description list, you will get the associate partners of our classes. There are uh, numerous career options and some of the are below with respect to after clearing. You can work in the health insurance structure. You can work with the life insurance actuaries and property and casualty actuaries and field of pension and retirement benefit and also uh, many other classes uh, also and you can also become a teacher because instead of actuaries always in dearth of good teachers. Remember that in order to become a good actuary you need to work with your senses. That is the only structure. Now, our class details, we are situated in Kolkata and New Delhi both. And this is our website, uh, www.showroofsideclasses.com. This is our email ID and this is our official number where you can call and discuss any of the details. Hope this helpful to you, this video. And if you need any help, we are always there for you. Hope to see as an actuary very soon. Thank you.